guys. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. morning. I have no idea what time it is. It's 11.25. Um, 11.25, there you go. We are starting off the day for a walk. It's a beautiful, bright, sunny day. It's supposed to be a high of 76, so yay. I don't think we're going anywhere today to run errands. I think we're errand out for a couple of days <laughs> after yesterday. But we did get a lot of purging at home done and cleaning, which is good. And we have stuff we want to do today around the house. But first, we're going to go get some steps in and then get some vitamin D and fresh air. So always a good way to start the day, I think. All right. I'll be back. So there is a lot of ducks today at the duck pond. There's one up there. Three up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, three. Yeah. Probably can't see that one behind the tree, but and then there's a bunch in the water. In the water. They're just kind of like and on the dam, and I know humans are here, so they've gone over there behind the bush. Except for, this one, except for this one. Spring is here. It is. My asthma already knew it was here. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. It's a quarter till um, ish. I'm already out of the house. Don't really want to be, but I had to take some documents to be shredded. And I've got to drop some books off with the library because they're due tomorrow. I'm sort of hoping by the time I'm done with that, Michael's is open because it's like right there. I don't really need anything, but I'd love to go see what they have on clearance if they have any of their clearance, like $2 yarn balls left. But anyway, yeah. I really want to just be home in my chair. Some days, whether it's the anxiety, the depression, um, or honestly, the energy level. Post-COVID, Bob and I both um, talked a lot, a lot last night while we were walking, and we both have issues with fatigue since we had COVID in November. So whether it's one of those or all three of those, I don't know but some days I just have to kind of force myself out of the house. So anyway, crocheting and creative things help a lot, but yeah. All right, let's go drop our books off and then let's see if Michael's is open and I'll be back. Hey you guys, I finally filmed some video footage for the regular public YouTube channel and extended version for the Patreon only channel. Um, doing my version of some shapes with the red heart granny square all in one yarn um and even making a few mistakes on camera because you know my notes were written after a road trip and i didn't write anything down while we were on the trip uh, I, you know why would i do that but i figured out some problems and i need to make some edits so it's all good i also need to fix my crochet notebook because that's a mess but anyway uh the next video when i get a chance to film it i will be showing how i assemble the shapes and um, how we can change them to make uh, a pullover or a cardigan. Looks like I need to do a couple more rectangles, so that'll be a thing. 
anyway, I'm gonna sit and do that and use up the rest of this ball and uh, have some lunch because it's time. All right, that's it for the minute. And I think Amazon came maybe. All right, hey I'll be back. guys, it was a good productive day. I got um, two videos filmed, one for Patreon and patron, patrons and supporters and one for you all. And they're both edited along with the vlog from last week and loaded to all the channels and scheduled. Yay! Um, new post went up in Patreon. I added a pattern for them that as I was filming, I found a couple mistakes and or things needed to be a little clearer. So I fixed that. Now I'm going to just go downstairs. I'm going to uh, continue work on my blanket that I'm making. And yeah, the computer is shutting off. Yes. I used to leave it on all day, every day. I am so not that person anymore. Can you relate or is it just me? I <laughs> so would rather do other things with my time. Anyway, all right, let's go downstairs. I need some more water anyway. And we're going to drag all my crochet and stuff downstairs that I have brought up and uh, wait for Bob to get off of work and see if he wants to go walking. I I'll was be right. Back. He's off duty now. We're going to go get some steps in. I was, you were right? I was right. Thank I you. said when you were off work, probably we'd go get some steps in. Look at that. See? For a change, I wasn't wrong. You weren't wrong. Not this time. No, yeah, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go walk the neighborhood real quick and then have dinner. And keep working on my blanket. I, it's, I don't have that many more rows before it's going to be done. So, anyway, let's go see what we can see. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 6, ah, sorry, 7.03 p.m. Bob is out for a few more steps today. We did already go walking once with Junior um, on his lunch break, but he wanted to get a few more steps in, so he's off doing that. I'm here cooking some dinner, and I've already taken a shower once Junior went home, because, um, you know, I smelled like baby spit up. <laughs> and uh, we're definitely teething because we had our first incident where we uh, gave Oma a love bite. <laughs> Didn't break the skin, but you know. You all know if you've been parents or grandparents, you know how that is. Anyway, we gently said no and removed him and he'll get the idea, but anyway. <laughs> and I said, ouch. <laughs> but anyway, I... Um, after they left, I watched some YouTube. I got another crochet project ready after I would work on the one I want to work on, which is down here. Um, I did make this large zipper case a while back um, that I think I intended for doing something else with it. This one. And the pattern is originally, I think, a makeup case. And if I can remember where I got the pattern from, I'll link it below. Um, it does work really well for needlework stuff. And hold on, it's easier for, for all kinds of needlework stuff. Um, these are a bunch of mini skeins and um, the patterns are right here. And so paperwork are right here. Um, I've got a few, couple more skeins of sock yarn and um, some hexi puffs and some hexa hexagons and you know different things. This is my some tools, more tools. But yeah, this is like a mini. So I'm gonna make hexagons with all these. Probably that's pretty obvious. But um, I'm gonna take a bunch of these. This is the Premier Fruits and this is the thin sock weight yarn, which is I think acrylic and nylon. And um, I'm gonna make some make a bunch of hexagons. This is the pattern. And then I'm going to sew them together and make sort of a lightweight summer top with it. It's a nice thin, because it's sock weight yarn, it's a nice thin yarn. It's, little, it's lightweight. 
it'll I think and because it's a he granny hexy it'll make a nice summer top the other ones are someday going to probably be a blanket and they're a wool nylon sock yarn this is the and these are already blocked by the way because when you first do them they're pretty curly but this is an easy project that I can sit and do it does have a couple fancy stitches in it and I do use a small crochet hook but it's not a super hard pattern and I can just sit and do like one or so one or more one or two at night after dinner and that'll work and sort of catch up on all of this anyway that's what I'm going to work on at the moment. It closes up like that into a rectangle. It's an easy bag um, to take with you. And if you filled it up with basically yarn balls like I have, it's not too awfully heavy. I only have the tools in here that I need for this project. I don't have any extra tools. Those are in my bigger bag upstairs. Um, but this is pretty cool. And I don't know if bigger projects with big bulkier yarn would work in this, but they might. And I might use it as a project bag going forward. In fact, I could probably see making one or two more of them. So anyway, again, I'll try to link it down below. It wasn't a super hard pattern and um, it went together fairly easily. And honestly, I have, well, I have a lot of yarn balls. I have a lot of fabric scraps and I have a lot of paint and paper. Uh, kind of an art horror. Anyway, I used what I had and I made it from um, what I had. Um, you could use old sheets, you could use tablecloths. The hardest, trickiest part is probably going to be finding the zipper. But yeah, anyway, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hi guys, I would say good morning, except it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> what have I done today? Nothing. <laughs> that's not exactly true, but I just didn't feel like going out anywhere and running errands or... I could have done a lot of things this morning. We do have a couple errands we're gonna run. We're gonna do it after he gets off of work. I just wanted to sit and crochet today, um, which is what I did. I'm working on a new sweater pattern um, and with some new yarn. I kind of like the way it turns out. I know it's the color, the way the colors are working out, it's not for everybody, but here's a picture. And, um, yeah, I, I, I just, I had a lot of fun with that. I did a couple of small reorganization things up in the art room, uh, mostly to do with my hexi puff and current hexagon cardigan. Ah, uh, sorry, hold on. Okay, current hexagon, hang on. Okay, current hexagon out of mini skeins project, which are all in the same bag. And it's a project that is not in a hurry to, to finish and is one I can take with me when we go driving around, which over the next couple of months is kind of going to be happening a lot. Happening a lot. We've got to go um, make at least one more trip to Bob's mom's house and probably more than that. There's a lot of legal paperwork to get through. And then we have a couple of vacation-y time away things that we're doing. One in April, one in May with the kids and all of that stuff. So there's just, there's a lot. So it's a project bag I can just take with me. Anyway, what's the point of informed delivery if the mail that's in there, informed delivery is never in your mailbox. I don't understand. Ah, all right, I'll be back. Anyway, I'm in the house. I've done my couple of chores and or are doing them. You can probably hear the dryer in the background. <clears throat> refill my water glass and sit down here for a little bit while I'm waiting for Bob to get off work. And then this week is adopted daughter Jenny's birthday. And um, we're doing Korean barbecue here at the house for her tomorrow. So we're going to go get the groceries for that. And I'm hoping the shop has something I can wrap Thomas's Easter stuff in. Otherwise, he might get it in Christmas paper. Yeah, I don't know. I'll be back. I just realized it's 8.23 p.m. and I forgot to vlog today. But it was babysitting day. Um, <laughs> anyway, I... Um, 
it, <laughs> Junior is um, going to be a year old next month. He is starting to walk. He likes to use Oma as a um, trampoline and jungle gym. So I feel like I've gotten a lot of exercise today. Um, I don't know if it was effective for anything, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, he also loves music. Oh my goodness, he loves music. Anyway, it was a good day. I did start a new pattern. I don't remember right now if I've said so or not on the on the tape on the video. I don't remember, but I finished the back last night. Um, I started the front today. It's all one kind of yarn that has all these colors in it. Um, so it'll be sort of color blocked, sort of, but I'm not going to like make it even or anything. I'm just going to let it, whatever happens, happen. Um, the pattern, Hold the on. pattern is from Knit Crow Addict. I really like her patterns um, very much. And this is the crochet bead stitch sweater pattern. It's that one. I'll try to link the um, her her site page for it down below. Um, it's a very easy pattern to do, and because it has these sort of uh, puff stitches, she calls them bead stitch, um, on it, it looks really um, a lot more complicated than it is. It's really not. It's a very easy pattern. I do think, we'll wait and see when I get it, you know, mostly completed. I, you know, I did the chaos sweater with a turtleneck, and now I'm wondering if I want to do this one with one too. I do have, I think, enough yarn so I might. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. But anyway, Bob is off at a Masonic Lodge meeting and I am just sitting here watching NCIS on my tablet and um, working on my sweater. Tomorrow we're celebrating adopted daughter Jenny's birthday and um, we're having a big family dinner for that, which is great. Um, and then we have all the, most of the food, I think, in the morning, though, I've got to go run out and run some errands, pick up a few more things. Will I be able to keep myself from stopping at one of the yarn shops? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. Wow, my hair is just, I don't know this morning. <laughs> um, it's 10, 21-ish a.m. And yes, I'm wearing this sweater again. It's become a favorite sweater of mine since I made it. And um, I, I absolutely love it. Anyway, um, we're out running errands. Obviously, we're in the car. Um, I just got the last of the must-do errands done and um, checked in with my dad this morning who is 85 and having some, or there's some health concerns. There's something going on. I'm not going to elaborate further because privacy, but yeah, anyway, I checked in with him. He's doing okay this morning. He's the last parent standing, so uh, yeah, anyway, he's 85. Did I say that? Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to go run by the little retail shop and see if it's open and then head home. I'll hey be guys. back. I haven't vlogged at all today. It's been a crazy busy day. <laughs> he was out doing Masonic things for most of the day and I was home doing chores. Just in the morning. And until almost two o'clock. Anyway, and then I was home doing chores and working on my current sweater project, laundry, all those things. So we are out now. We left the house about three-ish, I think. And we are um, out running around trying to get some errands done. We aren't going to get them all done today. Um, we're going to get the non-fun ones done today. Grocery shopping? Yeah. If we go out of the house tomorrow, that's a really big if. It'll be due to do fun ones. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll show you my sweater project when we get home. I have one more sleeve to finish. Then I can start sewing it together. So, yay. All right, let's go get the grocery shopping done because ick. Another thing, it's not on. Jeez. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we're.
we're done with our not fun chores. Oh, speaking of cherry blossoms, look at that. Yeah, look at that right there. Um, yeah, hang on. Distracted much? Squirrel? Wow. They're so pretty. Of course, the railroad tracks make it bumpy, but... Anyway, we got all the not so fun chores done today. Tomorrow, we might go for a drive to look at more of those cherry blossoms. There's supposed to be a whole bunch of them in downtown Portland right now. By the waterfront. By the waterfront, yeah. Or we might just be couch potatoes. Um, as I was saying when the camera wasn't on yet, because that's been a thing lately. Um, you know, first we got COVID and all the stuff that happened at Christmas and yada yada. If you've been following my vlog, you know, it's been a stressful few months. And then his mother passed away. And it's just kind of thrown everything for a loop. And yeah, we're, we're working on it. But anyway... Um, we're gonna go home now and put all the groceries away and figure out if and what we're doing for dinner. Neither of us is super hungry, so we'll see. And yeah, go from there. We did do a really big family dinner night last night for adopted daughter Jenny's birthday. We did Korean barbecue Aww. and yeah, <laughs> did you hear the groan? We're all still, we're still full. Like it was so much food. It was delicious and it was a great time. Um, I think we had about seven pounds of we had about six pounds of food. Something. It was, and, and we don't have that much left. Yeah, we, we have, yeah, I think we had six pounds of food, plus we had the uh, container of the uh, bulgogi. Yeah. And there's, all the meat's pretty much gone. Yeah. It was crazy. So. The birth daughter and her husband and junior all went home early because junior had to go to bed, but adopted daughter and her husband stayed and we watched Die Hard, the first one. They'd never seen it. And um, she's, never seen it. she's never seen it and she wants to see it. She didn't think she was going to like it. She thought it was going to be a campy, weird 80s movie. Because we talked about it at Christmas. Hi, yeah. That it was but, a Christmas movie. Because yeah. we always know that that's a Christmas And she's like, movie. but it's not a Christmas movie. I'm like, but it's a Christmas movie. Anyway. anyway. She liked it. I mean, you know, it's not... Um, It's not a great, I don't think it's a great classic or anything, but it's a good movie. It's a good entertaining movie. And Bruce Willis, before he got sick, was, you know, he was a pretty good actor. I mean, maybe he just played the same character all the time, but he was good at it. So, yeah, anyway. Um, we liked it so much, Bob and I, that um, I think we might want to add the other four Die Hard movies to the collection of DVDs. We do have some. And all the Die Hard movies aren't equally as good as the first one, but the first one's pretty good. So anyway, I think right now we're going to just go home, unpack the groceries, put everything away, and just plop on the sofa for a little bit. I don't know we're getting a lot more done because there's that. Anyway, oh, and the clip before this. Yeah, we're in Winco, and they evidently have a robot floor sweeper vacuum thing. I know y'all have probably seen them out at the stores, but I haven't seen one in real life. I've seen it on YouTube and people talking about it, but... Um, that was weird. Stayed away from it. Just yeah. And that beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it was really strange. Anyway, we're going to go home now. I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's the latest sweater that I'm working on. Yes, it's a little big and oversized. And according to the pattern, this is a medium, which probably, it's probably on me. It's probably a gauge thing. I also, I'm always telling you guys I have short arms, and this is... Um, not as long as the sleeves were supposed to be, <laughs> Just, but that's okay. I'm, I'm actually, I actually kind of like it. I do think I'm going to put sort of a thick, I'm going to bring this in a little bit. Oops, sorry. With some ribbing like that. I'll do it in a way, I, I, sorry, do it in a way that tightens up the neckline a little bit. So it's not so wide and do maybe a turtleneck. I don't know. I'm, I'm debating doing a turtleneck or just doing a row of ribbing. I, I can go either way. We'll have to see what happens, but I'm pleased with how it's turning out. It looks really good. This is, um, I didn't do this on purpose. The yarn was like this. So there's that. Anyway. Hey guys, it is Sunday morning, 9.39 a.m. That's right. I forgot to close the vlog last night. And yes, this is bedhead. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just doing up some chores we didn't get done yesterday, and then I think we're just going to go for a ride, uh, ride, a drive, and um, 
go look at those cherry blossoms I mentioned. So anyway, that's for next week's vlog. I also have a bunch of crocheting I'm gonna try to get done, including finishing a sweater, um, the sweater that I started this week. I'll put a picture here. Um, and hiding a cut end in my chaos turtleneck that I made um, that I evidently forgot. I missed a, I missed a, a string of, of yarn, so um, I'll put a picture of that here somewhere. Um, they were really fun to make. And then figure out which one of the many planned projects I have that I want to start next. I also have to catch up on daily drawings again. Once Bob's mom passed away, I don't know, something just happened in my brain and it's really hard for me to catch up with the daily drawings um, and do them on the daily. I just, it's difficult. So anyway, I don't know, but I'll, I'll catch up. So it'll happen at some point. <laughs> All right, that's it for this week though. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please do leave them down below. I do these vlogs to just show you how in a regular busy 60 year old woman's life, how she still manages to be creative amongst everything else that she's doing and hopefully to give you some inspiration on how you can work it into your life too, as much or as little as you want to. And yeah, all of those things. So if you have any suggestions questions comments leave them down below and uh don't forget to like share and subscribe if you want to support the channel i have stamp designs and art foamies and some over at rubber moon and um the links are down below yes they are two different companies but anyway um i also have a patreon and um yeah all of it's linked in the video description so go check it out that's it for this week stay safe stay happy stay creative Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.